Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. In today's video we are going to talk about Black Panther Wakanda Forever and this is going to be my review of the movie, the newest MCU movie. Uh, but before we get started, click that subscribe button and turn the notification on when these videos come out. Now let's get started. I just want to say that this is a spoiler review, so if you have not seen the movie, go click off this video go see the movie and come back later because this is a spoiler view and i just want to talk spoilers you know my i think that my ever review review will be a spoiler review so yeah this is a spoiler view you've been warned all right let's begin uh, this movie does a great job by honoring chadwick boseman and t'challa and the character of black Panther. you know everything it will leave a big emotional impact in you. This movie starts with the death of T'Challa. And it's been done in this pretty great way. You know, it's been directed really good, you know. And also no, there is no music in the back. There is no soundtrack. And you also have a, this strange feeling when you'll be watching the movie because when you'll be watching that particular scene you know because in that scene you're thinking about Chadwick Boseman you know it kind of feels like the same person when you're watching the movie T'Challa and Chadwick Boseman you know T'Challa is passing and you just gotta think you know, you're, you're thinking it's Chadwick well if you don't wanna I don't know I don't know how to explain it. it's weird but also sad it's kind of mixed I don't know how to explain that emotion but the most important thing is that it does a great job by honoring the character and Chadwick Boseman. Uh, so yeah, also I want to say the uh, the performances in this movie are absolutely amazing. Everyone gave a fantastic performance. Truly, I was blown away by the performance of the the Queen Ramonda's character. I don't know the actress's name, but she did a really great job. She really stands out in the movie from other actors, but every other actor in the movie also gave a fantastic performance. Um, I, I really like the actor for Namor. He also did a pretty good job. Let's talk about Shuri. Shuri had a great character arc in this movie. I mean, she one year after, you know, she has not been a part of it. But Queen Ramonda, the mother, she wanted an important thing. We need to move on. And then, at that scene where she burns the clothes, we got the child's son, who was played by this kid. He also did a great job. He also did a great performance. But yeah, that was a really emotional scene. And I know some people are talking about, oh, they're saying I'm an ex Black Panther. No, no, he's not gonna be a Black Panther. I can tell you that definitely. You know, the purpose for this character was to never be a Black Panther, to never be a king of Wakanda. That's why they uh, they moved him from Wakanda. You know that was the purpose so they are not going to make him a new black panther but yeah shuri is a black panther i forgot to say that she's a new black panther and i was kind of confused you know you know uh, she got all the powers you know she was strong when she drank that the juice from that flower and she got you know all the powers so she was faster stronger you know but I don't understand how, where did she learn all the combat, bro? You know, she was not a warrior, never. And then, you know, in the movie, she's just fighting Neymar, you know, and all these people, you know, just... I don't know, that confused, you know, the T'Challa was always a warrior, but she was never a warrior. She was always, in, in you know, in a lab and working. But, you know, that's just a small, small thing that don't really matter, but, you know, just a small detail that... Maybe, you know, I just kind of 
uh, find a little bit confusing. What uh, Leia, let's talk about Nemo. Nemo was a really great character. He was not a villain. He was, you know, character, hero, and hero, whatever you're gonna call him, but he was definitely, definitely not a villain. Uh, as I said, actor did a great job. I like the Telecans, they're people, like, everything is beautiful, you know, origin story and everything, they are, you know, they are, you know, good, good, really good addition to the movie and a really good addition to the MCU. And I can't wait to see more of the Namor. Let's talk about Ironheart. Ironheart was a good character in this movie. Uh, you know, at the beginning, beginning she was great, you know, I really liked how they introduced her with her being this big scientist, you know, not a scientist, just a student, but, you know, so smart that she built this vibranium detector and I like the character but later in the movie she, you know she was just just like there if you know what I mean she was there just to fight not she didn't have a person a purpose later you know she was just there to fight against the telekin so that's it and of course she built a new suit for toy marketing and everything and we also had these you know Okoye and some other uh, Dora Milaje warrior that just became this midnight angels totally unnecessary it was literally just to sell toys that's it just to sell toys and you know that's it and also wanna, what I want to say is that this movie was maybe a little bit too long I kind of feel like that after the middle, somewhere after the middle, the movie kind of slowed down. It, you know, the pacing kind of slowed down, and it it didn't really fit with the beginning and the ending of the movie. But it was still, you know, it was not bad, but you know, it's not a perfect, almost a perfect pacing. But you know, there it kind of fell off, and there maybe. No, but the the thing is that this movie has a lot of details that you have to, you know, watch. You gotta be very careful when you're watching this movie because there are a lot of details uh, that they are mentioning and that actually, you know, refers to something. So it's kind of, you know, a big risk to the late from you just, I understand everything. So it's not with honoring the T'Challa. And I think that was the most important thing. Honoring Chadwick Boyala and to bring on, you know, that legacy onto the next person who is Shuri, new Black Panther, and it, it didn't feel pushed, you know, it didn't feel pushed, it felt, you know, it had some purpose, you know, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, movie's not perfect, but it did the most important thing great. And, yeah, finally a movie that took itself seriously with no some stupid humor really did a great job really like the movie and i think it's the better than, it's better than the first black friend maybe a little just a little bit better and also killmonger was in this movie i i knew that he's gonna be in this movie where that scene you know when she went into death uh, dream in that afterlife i knew that was killmonger yeah he was great uh, but yeah uh, that's it that was my review of Black Panther Wakanda Forever. As I said, it's not a perfect movie, but it did a great job by honoring T'Challa and Chadwick Boseman, which I think is the most important thing to do. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one.